What is going on everybody? Welcome to episode 7 of our Let's Play Pokemon Uranium. Oh, this game is amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, we just had a lot of fun in our last episode. We did a lot of grinding. We got a shiny Tancoon if you missed it. Look how beautiful he is. Oh my god. And legitimately we just found it in the grass. We were grinding our actual um, Gerbolta and we got the shiny Gerbolta from our mystery gift event. So if you guys are trying to figure out how I got the shiny um, Gerbolta, it's from the mystery gift event. And thank you so much, Kings J, for the follow. Welcome to the Mewtwo crew, my friend. All right. So without further ado, guys, let us jump right into this game. All right, guys, let us go. So we defeated the gym. Now, I don't know if we have to go down here. What's this? What's down here? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I've already been down here. All right. So I believe we got to go back over to the east where I actually was doing all that training um, and go into that cave where we weren't actually allowed in because the Pokemon were going crazy and just killing everybody. Not actually killing everybody, but you know. You know what I mean. All right. So we just got to run this way. All right. I love how they kept the, they kept the music and everything. It's good music. All right. Here we go. I knew it. I just had a feeling. Okay. The Pokemon are especially hostile in this cave. They're ganging up on trainers. For your safety, we won't allow for you to pass. Is that a bright gem bid, uh, bright gym badge? You must be a strong trainer. However, I still don't think I should let you go alone. Hey, why can't I get into this cave? I'm not afraid of any Pokemon. I'm not afraid. All right. Well, here comes Jer to save the day. Ah, oh, wait, I know. Me and Jer can tackle the cave together. Isn't that right, Jer? Well, uh, okay, I guess so, but be careful. Look at that. I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. Okay, here we are. I'll follow you till the end, then we'll split up. I'll do my best to keep our Pokemon healed. Thank the Lord. I love, I actually love when our, our partner heals our Pokemon, because that's just so much better. Okay. Oh, beautiful. A poison barb. Okay, that's not bad. We don't have a poison type yet, but uh, that'll really come in handy later. Oh, here we go. Here comes the hostile Pokemon. Oh, what is that? A Kamai? Okay, so what we're going to do... Alright, beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bite this Tonami. Poison gas. Oh, damn. That does double damage. Oh, I've been poisoned. And it doesn't affect uh, Orchanks because it's Steel-type, which is really cool. Alright, not very effective. Cool. Tanku uses bite so I'm gonna she uses metal claw don't you dare don't you dare I need to catch this comrade stop doing stuff okay all right poison we're already poisoned so that poison gas was kind of dumb uh, comrade used what is that reflect I didn't even see go for the bite please attack the tonomy God damn it. God damn it. I'm tilted. I want that combine. He's going to obviously always attack what he's super effective against, which is fine. But this is actually really good for us because this allows our um, Tancoon to level very well. Because Orchinx is going to be pretty much resistant to a bunch of stuff that we run into here. Isn't that a Gigalith? No, that's not a Gigalith. That's a Comite. Don't you, don't you know? That's a Kamite. Everyone knows that's a Kamite. Oh my god, what are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, the Pokemon. <gasps> I don't own either of these Pokemon! This is amazing! Okay, so obviously he's going to go for the Kamite. So I'm going to bite the uh, Fortog. The Fortog, yeah. Alright, beautiful. All right, the Comite's going to use Harden. Orchink's going to use Vine Whip. Nice, good, good. Okay, good. I like it. Because um, if I go to use a Pokeball right now... It's not good. It's impossible to aim when there's... Okay, that's what I thought. Um, you can't attack unless... Or you can't do it when there's two Pokemon. So let me go for... Alright, beautiful. So either way, we're going to catch one of these Pokemon. 
It doesn't matter to me which one it is. Oh, goodness gracious me, my iPad's dying. Oh, give me one second. Oh, ba -ba -ba -bum. Everything's still going on. Everything is Gucci. And a comic. My Metapod is getting harder. Ew. What do you mean? Okay. Okay. So, Tancoon's leveling. All right, let's go for the bag. And let's go for that beautiful Pokeball of Doom. Come on, Kama, you know you want to be with us. One shake, two shake, three shake. No, Kama, why you've just killed yourself? You didn't have to die. You didn't have to go that way. No, Kama. Oh, nice. Oh, we still have a chance. There's still a chance, everybody. Pokeball. One shake, two shake, three shake. Beautiful! We are now the proud owner of an amazing Comet. Alright. Comet said I was added to the Pokedex. Would you like to give a nickname to Comet? No, that's okay. Alright. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. Oh, a Pokeball. No, we've been bamboozled. Alright, what do you got for us? Alright, so we can either fight these or... Hmm... You know what? We might as well... We might as well fight. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Yeah, we might as well fight. Get that extra experience. Level up our Tancoon. That'll be good for us. Go for the Metal Claw. Doesn't really do too much damage. Alright. I really like the fact that our trainer here, uh, Theo, is actually helping us here. Whoops. Alright, so the stream looks good. Everything looks good here, guys. Woohoo! Okay. So they don't do, like, any damage to us. So that's really good. That is really good. Uses tackle. Oh, man. There's a bunch of you guys in here. What is going on, everybody? I don't know why that's not working. That's fine. Screw it. The stream looking good for everybody? It's uh, it's showing a little bit of extra drop frames. It still lags so much when I enter grass. Yeah, it lags when you enter the grass. That's weird. It's a little laggy for me, and it looks like my um I don't know. It's ten o'clock, and I don't know why, but it looks like my um, frames are dropping. So I just turned off everything that's running extra data on that way we can make sure that you guys are getting the best quality uh, you can because you probably notice a little bit of lagging all right perfect okay so we own both of these guys so that's cool oh the beautiful shine of tancoon I'm just watching in the OBS. It looks, it looks to be okay. I wish it was perfect quality for you guys. I, I need. I can't wait to get my new computer. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna be. We're gonna be streaming everything and anything. Like, like we're gonna stream everything, guys. All right. Tenkun's getting like a bunch of experience. It's awesome. It is awesome. All right, here we go. Down the cave of amazingness. All right. So many Pokeballs. We're finding so much stuff. All right, here we go. Here we go. This game is so good, guys. Like... If you haven't played it, download it. If you haven't downloaded it, get it. Like, I don't even know what to say. Alright, so we're pretty much own all the Pokemon. Um, we're looking really good here. The animation right before encountering Pokemon is bad too. Uh, I guess I can't play until it gets fixed. It, it, I don't think it's that you can't play until it gets fixed. It's just the game is a little laggy. Um, it could be the computer. I, I don't know. It could be. It could be a lot of stuff, unfortunately. See, like, see how long that took? The, um... But we should be okay, I guess. Alright. Get some extra training in here. 
Yeah, because you can kind of see that there's a little bit of harshness in the game. Um, and again, it has to do with the game. It also has a little bit to do with the uh, computer that's running it. I'm about to murder Twitch. I keep getting freaking red flashes on the screen and it's effing annoying. You're getting red flashes on the screen. That's weird. I've never heard of that before. All right. So Tancoon's actually getting quite a bit of experience. Like you can hear the bar. You can't really see it that well because Orchinks' name is over top of our experience bar, but it's definitely he's definitely getting a bunch of experience, which is really good for us. Oh, this game is amazing. The Wild Dunsparce flinched! Yes, we're so good. Alright. See, he's almost level 17 already. Okay, what's up this way? Oh, there's so many Pokemon in this cave. Oh my gosh. Two Tonomies. Okay. And it doesn't do me any good for using a Repel because his Pokemon's level 16 uh, as well. All right. It's not too shabby. Going for the bite. And I see that we got uh, 18 viewers in the stream, so thank you guys all so much for popping in the stream and checking things out. Hope you guys enjoy a beautiful day of Pokemon Uranium. I really am enjoying this game, guys. Like, if, you, if you're not into Pokemon, tr mm, I was going to say, if you're not into Pokemon, at least try this game. But you'd probably have to know the basics of, of Pokemon. And if you're watching my video on YouTube, of course, you, you, you're most likely a Pokemon fan. We're trying to learn Odor Sleuth. No, we don't need to know that. Stop. Yeah, that's fine. We didn't learn, learn it. It just identifies the Pokemon. I don't even know what that does, what it means. I don't even know what it means. What does it even mean? Okay. Beautiful. So much experience going here. 150. Yeah, that's a decent amount of experience. All right, we got the Pokeball. I'm getting all this stuff, man. Like this guy behind me, he's getting none of this. This is all mine. Finders Keepers. All right, two Grozards. I'm interested in knowing what that Grozard will actually evolve into. All right, fight, fight. All right, because it's just a ground type, so I don't know. Streams looks good. I just always keep, you guys might be wondering, like, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, why does Jaren keep moving his head back and forth? I got my run screen on my right, my other screen on my left, and I just want to make sure that everything looks good for the viewers. Because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be mad. Okay. It's super effective. All right, Grozard is down and out. 128 experience, good. Go for the bite. Yeah, this is perfect. I, I'm glad that I didn't decide to continue to level up our Tancoon, because he's getting excellent experience here. And it's good that we got this Orchinks with us because it's all ground and rock type Pokemon, so we're just catching them all. Or not catching them all, but uh, killing them all. Oh, but there are so many Pokemon in this cave. Holy crap. Our encounter rate is like nutty. I wonder if we can run from this. I just want to try it and see. Oh, we have Tancoon's Runaway, so we can always run away. What am I talking about? Alright, let's grab. Oh my god. The only time, I, the only reason I think I'll stay in a battle is if there's a Pokemon we haven't seen, or of course if there's a shiny Pokemon. Now, if his Orchinx kills the shiny Pokemon, I'm gonna lose my mind. But we got Runaway, so we can always run. Ha ha! See, Tancoon's busted. He's so good. All right. Anything we need to see? Two Dunsparces. We don't need to waste our time on Dunsparces. Like, I guess it's really good for grinding, so maybe I should do it, but I, I, I just hate grinding for you guys. I'd rather I'd rather get to the next thing. And I actually didn't check how close we are into the, uh, how far we are into the um, Let's Play. So I don't know if I'm like 10 minutes in, 15 minutes in, 20 minutes in. I know I'm not 20 minutes in, but we're at least probably 10 minutes in. So we'll get through this cave together. Oh, what was that? There, There's something up ahead. Why don't you go and see? Theo, that tremor was nothing. We finally made it to the end. Dot, dot, dot. What is that? What is going on? Huh? What is going on? What is that? What the heck is that? 
What is this? It's a new Pokemon. Terlard. Is that the evolved form of whatever it was? All right. Looks really cool. All right, Terlard. So obviously that's the evolved form of Grozard or Grozard. Yeah, Grozard. I guess we'll just keep going for a bar or a bite here. I gotta catch this thing. This thing is badass. Should I use this though? It's only ground. It's too bad that our bite isn't going first because we would obviously get the uh, we could potentially get the flinches. Terrellard. So far, so good, actually. Um, I like that it keeps using Endure. Because it doesn't make any sense that it's using Endure because we're not obviously going to kill it in one shot. So that's cool. Holy crap, why is it using Endure? Why doesn't it just finish, it off, finish us off with Slash? And actually, I'm confused. Where is the Slash coming from? Like, look at this! Should I go for the Pokeball? Do you think I'll catch it? Maybe. Let's. Uh, maybe I'll go for one more bite. Aha! I used Endure again. Alright, so it's definitely in the red now. So let's try the Pokeball. You might, you might as well try. One shake. Two shake. Three shake. Oh my god, we got it! What kind of what kind of threat was that? That wasn't even a threat. Terrellard was caught. What is he? Ground Dragon? What? What? Terrellard's two heads have completely independent brains and are prone to ar uh, argument. That they ever managed to... I don't know. Would you like to give a nickname to Terrellard? No. But I would like to use that. But we have two... That would be three ground types. I feel like freaking Giovanni. I run a ground type gym. <gasps> Tancoon is evolving! Our first evolution! Oh! <gasps> This thing was looking badass already. Look at that! That thing like, looks so sick! And to tan skewer! Holy crap, that looks so badass! Now, I don't know if we want to use this Pokemon, but look at this! That is so sick! That is so awesome! Does that evolve again? Dude, that might evolve again. I'm gonna level this. I'm, I'm glad that this thing's on my team. Hiker says, "Hmm, you there? What happened to all the uh, to all the Pokemon that were going berserk? They calmed down. What? You fought a Terlard? Those are really dangerous. Hmm, they, that may have been the problem. When a Terlard's two heads fight with each other, it riles up Pokemon in the area. Thanks for bringing the peace to the cave. Now, uh, again, now we have trainers can get through without fear. Perfect. Well, I'm glad that worked." All right. That we, that whole bunch of stuff just happened. Route five. Holy crap! We got a dragon type now. Oh, is that Burby's evolution? Avidin looks beautiful. Oh my god! This Pokemon, Tan Tan Skewer, looks incredible. All right, goes for the growl. That is totally Burby's evolution. 100%. No no doubt about it. Let's go for Pokeball. Alright. One shake. Two shake. Three shake. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Gotcha. Avidin was caught. Let's see what kind of Pokemon this, or what typing this is. Normal flying. The blue feathers on its chest reflect light. They use flashes to communicate with one another in the forest canopy. Nope, we don't need to nickname it. Should I use that ground dragon? I don't even know. I don't even know. All right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. If you ask me, this is the prettiest route in Tandor. I actually was thinking of that myself. I was like, this is really nice. All right, I'm a reap. Oh, it's the electric sheep. That reminds me I have to finish my Pokemon Gold Let's Play. I've been too involved in this one. I've actually played this game more than I have played my Pokemon Gold. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got paralyzed. Yep. How cool is this Pokemon, guys? Like, for real. 
I'm really excited about this tan score. This is really, really exciting. Really, really exciting, guys. Moxie? What's Moxie? Attack Rose? Nice. Bashan. So this guy is the shepherd. He herds the sheep. I wonder if this Pokemon's fighting. I feel like it is. Goes for the stomp. Alright. He's totally fighting. Goes for the tackle. Oh, he got the Oh yeah, because focus energy. I'm like, what the heck? Alright, yeah, focus energy. That reminds me. Oh yeah, Moxie. You get more attack when you just uh, make a Pokemon faint. That makes sense. Uh, let's go into Jer Bolta. We haven't seen him for a little bit. He's kind of just been like chilling out in our in our team, I should say. Alrighty, goes for the stomp. What the heck? Xerxos is playing Dota too. What the heck is wrong with Xerxos? All right, whatever. Oh man, that was a terrible cry. Level nineteen. Nuzzle? Yes! Nuzzle is so busted! Okay, uh, we don't need to know Endure. Nuzzle is so good, guys. It's basically like a 100% Thunder Wave that deals damage. It always paralyzes, and when it hits, it always... Oh my god. People don't take us campers seriously as battlers, but we love to explore and enjoy natural environments. You should take the time to appreciate Tandor's beauty. Alright, what's this way? Rochaf Town. Okay, let's see what's to the right of us, though. Okay, so there's still stuff going on in here. So before I go into the next city, let's switch into Jerbolta. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, where are you going? I don't know. I honestly don't. I have no clue. I think I'm going the right way. What is that? Cochrane? Why is it only level 10? What the hell? It doesn't affect it. What, what does that mean? Is it ground? Uh, quick attack? Critical hit, nice. Critical hit, what the hell? It must be ground. Cochran. Does, uh, can Jared Bolt evolve? I, I actually don't know. I hope he does. He'd be pretty badass if he did. I can't wait. Like, all this is so new to me. It's just so awesome to see this. He's about to send out another Cochran. Okay, that, that one looks a lot better. Uh, Jeribolta, run! Don't let this thing... Don't let your dreams be memes! Get out there! Alright, Raptorch. I don't know what level a Raptorch evolves at. Yeah, that's very effective against me. Holy crap. Alright. Um, if I go into... It might be Ground Bug. There we go. Good. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright. Beautiful. Well, I shouldn't have asked. No, you shouldn't have asked where I'm going, because I have no clue. What's down here? A Pokeball. I found a Soothe Bell. Okay, so if I need to get Pokemon to be happy... Alright, what's down this way? I honestly don't know where I'm going. What's over here? Pokemon. That's what's over here. <gasps> Trickwee? Trickwee? I don't even know what that is, but it looks so cute. It looks so cute. All right, let's go for Spark because it looks like it'll do good damage. Oh, we paralyzed it. Nice. Goes for Leech Life. Damn, it did five damage. That's pretty good. All right, uh, let me go into my bag and use a Pokeball. I'm interested in knowing what level this is. Or not level, What? Uh, it's obviously Bug something. And it's not bug flying, so it might be bug electric. Is this the new... Is this the flying Joltek? Trickwee was caught. Oh, it's literally just bug. Related to S'more and Spawny, Trickwee is very hyperactive and loves nothing better than sneaking up behind trainers. No, I don't want to nickname it. Alright. Nice. Oh my goodness, we found another Pokemon. Oh, it's another Trickwee. Okay. Can we run? Ah, oh, beautiful. Silver Wind! Okay, that's good. That's good. A 
Okay, so there's a cave there. I have no clue where I'm going, so I'm actually going to run back to that town that we haven't gone into because there might be a Pokemon Center. <gasps> electric sheep! An electric sheep! Okay. Calm down, Jerry. It's just an electric sheep. Alright, doesn't affect me because we are ground type. Electric sheep! We were so good at this game! Goes for the T-Wave, doesn't affect me. Uh, so let's catch it! Unfortunately, we already have an electric type. I would most likely try to use uh, Mareep, but... That's alright. We got Mareep in our Pokemon Gold. So if you guys want to see us use a Mareep, you can check us out at our Pokemon Gold Let's Play. Alright. Come on, Mareep, get in the Pokeball. Now stay closed. Oh, I'm holding it. Oh, God. Oh, we caught it. Mareep was caught. We've actually caught more Pokemon in this game already than we did in our Pokemon Red Let's Play. No joke. Would you like to give a nickname to Mareep? No, that's okay. We don't need a nickname, Mareep. Run. Oh, there's so many Pokemon. What is that? Oh, it's the Avidan. Right, Avidan. I remember you, Avidin. You're beautiful. Look at that Pokemon. Like, that Avidin looks so sexy. Isn't that game supposed to have only fan-made Pokemons? That is correct. Only fan-made Pokemons, which is really awesome. Or is it only only fan-made? No, not only fan-made, sorry. Not only. But it has 180 new Pokemon. What the frick is this thing? Luo? Hmm. Alright, what are you saying? Did you know Tandor was formed by two volcanoes? Both are dormant now, but the regional championship takes place over one of them. Oh, that's really cool. I like this. That sounds neat. I've lived in uh, what is it? Rockfail Town since I was a little girl. The mountains are rough to live in, true, but I'm hale and hearty as, uh, as any young lass. Hoof, 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 hoof. Hoof, 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 hoof. Alright. Blam! Kapow! I want to be a superhero when I grow up. Uh... Our Lunapop faithfully guards our house every night. On full moons, though, it won't stop howling. Oh. Alright. It stopped raining somehow. It's amazing how the economy functions when half the population of a given region are trainers. Trainers don't, who don't work. How would we ever feed ourselves if we didn't have Pokemon to help? It's a good point. It's a good point. Alright, what are you saying? Hi, I'm a nurse in training. I'm, in, uh, I'm interning at this Pokemon Center in order to learn more about Pokemon treatment. Alright, cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. Bum, 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 bum. Alrighty, we've restored your Pokemon to full health. Alright, beautiful. Let's talk to this guy. This town is so quiet, it's almost eerie. Sounds like a ghost type Pokemon, or ghost type town. Oh, it's raining again. It's just, it's just magically started raining again. What's up in here? What are you saying, old lady? When I was young, I lived in this big city, or sorry, in the big city. Now I just like living here in the quiet countryside. Oh, I see. So it's a small country city. That's not so bad. Holy crap, people. Do you think they'll ever make a game set in Tandor? I really hope so. I'm playing with my brother. Don't interrupt. Those kids in their video games, when I was a kid, we played outside in the dirt and we liked it. Well, we're not in the archaic region anymore. One day, my son tried to go into the comic cave to catch his own Pokemon. I had to drag him back. I would have killed my mother if she tried to drag me away from Pokemon. My cousin over there is crazy about Pokemon, but he never leaves the house. I wish he'd get a job. Hey there, stranger. How are you? That's cute bag you've got there. Okay. Hello, I'm a Pokemon enthusiast. I see you are a trainer. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for one Pokemon in particular. I just can't remember what it was called. If you can help me, I'll give you a reward. It was sort of a fat yellow snake. What was it? This? Nope, I don't think that's what I was looking for. A fat yellow snake. I don't even know. That must be a new Pokemon. Alright. And it stopped raining. The Tandor Rangers work tirelessly to protect the environment and citizens of this region. Okay. You're a trainer, aren't you? You remind me of my son. He's a trainer too. Alright, well. If every trainer reminded you of your son, you would have a lot of people that reminded you of your son. Aha, here we go. Hey, are you a Pokemon trainer? Sweet. Listen, would you be interested in a trade? I'm looking for a Tofu Rang. If you have one, I'll trade you for my Pallage. I don't have it. I'm sorry. I, I don't I don't got a Tofu Rang. I got a Tofu in my chat. I can try to give you Tofu if you want. Oh, here we go. 
Here we go. Something's happening. Jer! What's going on? How unexpected. It's good to see you, mate. But unfortunately, now isn't the best time. There's been an emergency at Cypress Labs. We're all incredibly flustered, so I wanted out to try and do something. Although, actually, running into you now might have been the lucky break we need. I can't explain here. How about you come with me to the lab? I'll introduce you to Professor Cypress, and she'll give you the lowdown on what's happened. Follow me. Okay. Okay, cool. Ernest, you're back. Did you find the thief? Is, is it this kid? Listen, kid, you picked the wrong lab to break into last night. Wait, Lily, hold on. This isn't the thief. This is Jer, my research assistant. They happen to be passing through town. They're a Pokemon trainer. Hmm, a Pokemon trainer? Are they trustworthy? Of course they are. They're my assistant, aren't they? Besides, their father is Kellen, the ranger chief. Aha! So you're Kellen's kid, huh? Well, I suppose I can trust you. I'm Lily Cypress, the Pokemon professor at this lab. You probably figured out what's going on by now. Last night, while we were out, someone broke into the lab. They stole many of the Pokemon we were keeping here for research. But it's strange. They completely ignored the most valuable thing in here. There, on that table, the prototype Pokemon speech translator. It's a cutting-edge technology we've been developing. There are some who would go to great length to get their hands on it. That's why... That's what's got us baffled. Why would someone break in if they weren't going to steal the PST? Oh, look at this. More people. You're back! What did you find? I managed to recover one of the stolen Pokemon. This fellow was hanging out on Route 6. This is excellent. I have an idea. Let us use the PST on uh, Oten to find out about the thief. Scary, so scary. I was in my Pokeball, asleep, suddenly and moving, but not human friend, taking me and others out towards Mountain Cave. Dropped my Pokeball and got free. Towards the Mountain Cave. That must be on Route 6. Maybe the thief is in, still there with the rest of the stolen Pokemon. This is a good lead. Somebody give that Pokemon a treat for its hard work. Now, the question is, how do we catch this thief? They've got the stolen Pokemon on them, so they could be dangerous. Jer, can help? They're a Pokemon trainer. They have even have two badges already. Is that so? In, ca in that case, Jer, you might be exactly who we need. According to Outen, the thief is still on Route 6 to the west. West. Uh, if you look into that, we'll be able to... We'll be able to summon your debt. In order to help with your investigation, oh, I know, why don't you borrow the prototype PST? That way you can talk to any other Pokemon you find to help locate the thief. Okay, so we can start talking to Pokemon. Please be quick. We're all counting on you. All right. Sounds freaking awesome. What are you saying? Don't panic. Don't panic. Everything. Okay. All right. Oh, what's this guy? I'm a fossil revivic... Revivication... Revivif... What? Revivification. I'm a fossil revivification expert. However, not at this time. We're in a state of an emergency. All right, cool. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode, everybody. I want to thank you all so much for checking out episode 7 of our Pokemon Let's Play, Ur or sorry, our Let's Play Pokemon Uranium. Guys, this game just keeps getting better and better, and now we've got a new climax to the story where we got some Pokemon who are missing. We got a Pokemon speech translator or something like that. Uh, this is looking really, really cool. So we will see you guys in our next episode. Don't forget to like the video if you like what you saw. Comment in the comment section below. Say, hey, what's up, Jaren? I'm going to be making sure I can comment to everybody who's talking to us. And, of course, subscribe to our channel. That way you can keep up to date with our recent uploads that we post every single day. Uh, but with that being said, guys, we will see you guys in our next episode. Take care, everybody.